Welcome to Flash AS2 tutorial. We're going to make a simple ball movement. We're going to left and right, and when it rotates right or left, it's going to rotate either direction. So, it's basic introduction to movement in gaming. Not this movement, it's done with key press. Alright. Now it's prompting you with what you want to start with. You want to create a new flash file, Action Script 2.0. <clears throat> okay. Now you go over to the oval tool and you want to set the properties of the stroke to be about. Here, I'm going to type in three. And we're going to draw a perfect circle. By doing this, you hold Shift. And click and drag to the bottom right corner it makes a perfect circle all right <clears throat> now let's draw a line just cutting it in somewhere make sure snapping is on this makes it a lot easier because you have it perfect every time strokes at 3.0 the snapping all it does is see how this ball is bigger when you're on the object that's snapping to it. When it's out here, it's tiny. So now it's snapped to it. So it's infused with the object. Now let's highlight it. Then go to modify, convert to a symbol. We want to make this a movie clip. Name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it ball. Make sure the registration is in the center. This is ideal for our rotation because we want it to rotate everywhere from the center. Notice that the registration just shows that it's right here at the very middle of it. <clears throat> now let's code this thing to make it work. Right click and go to actions. Brings up just blank text document. But this is where all the fun is. Type in on clip event load <clears throat> this is as soon as the clip loads whatever is between these braces happens so it's usually ideal for uh, variables random numbers and so on which all has to do with variables just all that so type in I mean, you can name it whatever you want, but I'm naming speed equals 10. This is the movement speed. It's a variable and it's set to 10. Alright, <clears throat> another on clip event. Enter frame. Whatever happens between these two braces is what happens, or is only ran when the clip hits frame one. So when it enters the frame. So we're going to do a if statement, if parentheses key period is down, then key again, then specify which key you want are talking about. I'm going to do right. <clears throat> so whatever is between this and this will happen whenever the key is key right is pressed down so we're going to make it move to the right this is the x-axis that we're using then plus equals speed so Whenever I hit the right button, here, hold on. make sure you always check the syntax and then go to control test movie. I'm hitting the right button right now. So it moves every time on the x axis to the right. But there is another way of doing this. You can take out this plus and do the x plus speed the 
was the same exact thing. I think the first way looked pretty or something, going back to that. <clears throat> okay, now let's do the same exact thing, except switch it to left and change the addition operation to the minus operation. If key is down, key dot left x minus equals speed. Now, check the syntax. Came correct, so let's test movie. You can hit control enter too, but either way, still the same thing. Alright, I'm hitting the right button, now left. So it's moving. The circle that we created is moving back and forth just from a few simple lines of code. Alright, now let's make this thing rotate. It's just as simple as the first thing. Alright. <clears throat> After this line of code, just type in underscore rotation plus, because we're using the plus, equals speed again. So they're equivalent to each other. All right. Now, check syntax. Now, here's what it does. Now, when I'm hitting the left button, nothing happens. When I hit the right button, it spins all of a sudden. Left button, right. Left, right. So, with the left, all we got to do is take this, copy, paste. But make sure you change the operation. Minus speed. Check the syntax to make sure. And let's test this movie. All right, right, it's working fine. Left, there you go. Now you got a simple ball moving right. And you could do the same thing with up and down. I'll just show you right now. If the key is up, so I'm changing the key to up from right. It's still going to move on the x-axis to the right. I'm hitting the up button right now. But all you gotta do if you want it to move up, you wanna type the y axis and negative. Because in the right here is zero, zero. So if I want this ball to move up, it's already at like four hundred or balls at basically three hundred. You wanna subtract if you want it to go up because this is Zero, zero. It's the origin on the graph. So now that I got this in there, it's going to move up when I hit up. And it's also rotating. It's as simple as that. It's all really fun. Just you can play around with it and test it and all. But that's it for here.